All right, we're going to take a quick uh, drive by uh, Coltsville before focusing in on some Tim Scott statements about the state of the Republican primary in a moment. I'm going to play for you something extremely disturbing. Again, probably a don't let kids watch this one sort of moment because this is extremely weaponized cult membership. This is a right winger who hosts a show called Wrong Think named Anna Sanchez. And she shares a bizarre, almost like a Trump sex fantasy. And again, as if we really needed another reminder of the level of cult that this is, this is really vile, vile rant. This is rancid. It's fetid, fetid, rancid stuff from Anna Sanchez describing uh, how Trump is essentially a um, (laughs) I'll just let her explain it to you. I've interviewed him once and then I met him once at an interview and we talked about trannies and then I told him he was my first crush, which is true. Oh. I used to watch The Apprentice all the time with my parents and I would I told them I was like I'm going to marry Donald Trump and my parents were like okay like you're a kid and this man is like 50 years older than you and I was like you don't understand. Right. What we have is different. <laughs> I was like delusional. I'm not even kidding like this is totally true and I had a poster of him in my room. At least she admits there was a delusional element to this. And I told him that. I've told the story like 8000 8, 8, times. Like you don't need to hear it again, but I love telling it because it's just funny. And and that day was like the craziest day of my life. I sat there. I had lunch. And I apologize. I might have I might have wrongly said Anna Sanchez in the introduction. This is Anna Perez. I, I, I'm i sorry if I said the wrong name with him. And he was like, whatever you want. Like, I recommend this. It's not on the menu, but you guys got to try it. You guys got to try it. Such a nice guy. And he kissed me not once, but twice. He grabbed my face. He grabbed me by my face. Some people would consider it sexual assault. And, you know, I don't know, just like. I almost fainted Hmm. and I don't get starstruck because, you know, I've met a lot of famous people working in this industry. But that was one moment when I was like, it, it really made me. I don't know. It just really was everything came full circle in my life. It was very exciting for me. Okay, so, but don't tell Melania, obviously. Just kidding. She she probably would not care. Wow. So that is what it is like uh, to be in a cult. It is a complete separation from reality and, and social norms and ability to critically think about what's going on around you. And um, again, part of this, what's the point of this? The point of this is just remembering to different degrees. These people are cult members like like Anna. And there's no, hey, do you know the effect that Trump's tariffs on China really had? That's not going to get you anywhere, right? It's it's laughable. The idea that you would present some fact like that uh, and be able to have any kind of productive conversation with these folks. So we've got to make them politically irrelevant. We have to vote in such large numbers that people like this who see Trump almost as a deity in front of whom she almost fainted. um, It just they just have to not matter politically. That's the bottom line.